Hey, welcome back to Black Light Garage. Well, time we had the talk. Not that talk. Hopefully your parents give you that talk. No, it's time to talk about camshafts again. Because some people didn't quite understand what I was saying. And there were some that tried to say I was saying things that I didn't say. So I just want to clarify and give you more reasons the, the, the flat tabbit camshafts are not failing simply because of the lack of zinc and oil. No. So, before I get into all this, let's just get into it. Chinese lifters or you know the camshafts are made in China no there are some said I said that I did not say that because I actually if you watch one of my earlier videos I told you that the camcorders come from one of three places and if you buy an off-the-shelf cam they're pretty much all ground at the same place now if you call comp or Lenati or whoever you know and order a custom cam yes they grind it for you in the house right there but a standard off-the-shelf cam, when you call Jags or Summit or whoever, and just order this part number, it's not ground by them. But anyway, I just want to clarify that. Now, I've been noticing there's a lot of people on forums and boards, they go get them an old motor. And the first thing they want to do is they want to change the cam in it. But they're on a budget. And they don't want to change nothing else. Right there you have doomed yourself. Especially if you're running anything besides a small block Chevrolet. Small block Chevrolet has adjustable rocker arms. Unless you have a Ford 289 Hypo or, you know, a 427 390 high post those had adjustable rock arms. That's it. Fords were non-adjustable. You adjusted them with a push rod length. Okay, but they want to go buy a camshaft that has a whole lot more lift and duration, which changes the base circle of the cam, which changes the preload in the lifter. And of course, having more lift on the cam changes the preload on the lifter. But they don't want to check the push rod length. They don't want to change valve springs. You wiped your cam out right there. You might as well just call it quits. It, 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 that doesn't work. I've seen it day in and day out over the past few months. I mean, it, it just blows my mind. Because, I mean, it'll be like, I mean, I see people buying like the comp thumper cams and trying to put it in a stock motor. And then they wonder why it wiped out, you know, in 15 minutes. Well, it's probably because your push rod is push the plunger and the lifter all the way to the bottom and it has nowhere else to go so all we can do is grind the nose of the cam off because you didn't take the time to check the preload or you have so much lift that your valve spring is now stacked solid and once again it shoves the plunger all the way down the lifter it has nowhere else to go but to grind the nose of the cam off I mean I don't, I don't understand why people can't understand that people can't understand that concept. If you can't understand that, then you shouldn't be working on the engine. Period. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. I mean, yes, ZD, the ZDDP is a problem, but not putting an engine together properly is a bigger problem and a bigger cause of cams wiping out. So point blank, if you don't have adjustable rocker arms and you're not willing to buy the correct valve springs or push rods or check the push rod length, don't change your camshaft, period. Because when it wipes out, you're going to, wipe, you're going to end up wiping the rest of the motor out because all those medical particles go, go through it and you'll have to tear it completely back down and start up. 
and it's not worth it just to have a cool idle that makes the motor run so horrible that it won't get out of its own way. Now, with that being said, what I said about the Comp Extreme Energy camshafts, I still stand by that. The ramps are too fast. There are no free lunches. You know, it's going to have accelerated wear. If you don't run, you know, valve springs with enough pressure, like I said before, when I had that conversation with Butler Performance and several others, they literally launched the lifter off the nose of the cam and then it slams back down. Okay, every time it slams back down, what do you think's happening? I mean, that's why they do recommend certain valve springs for that camshaft, but people are cheaping out. But I still wouldn't run one of them. I still stand by that statement. You know, I showed you, I'm going to run a Howard's can. The lift, if the ramps are not as fast, so the lifters won't be slamming up and down. I mean, even though I'm going to run correct valve springs for the application, still yet, I don't want that extremely fast ramp. Now, something else that people are doing. When they put them together, you know, comp sends that red syrupy stuff. It's like the Permatex assembly lube. It's like sticky syrup. That's it. Okay, you all see me put that 390 together. I put a flat tap at cam in it. Did I have any problems? No. I used Walmart Straight 30 Super Tech diesel oil in it to break it in. I had no problems. But, that's what I used. I did not use the red syrupy stuff. Red line, assembly lube, and it says right there, three times greater film strength than conventional black molybdenum disulfide lubricants. Three times. And this it don't clump up and stop your oil filter up like the black molly grease does. I really, I really, really like this stuff. And this is what I use. This is what I'm going to use in my 460 build. I mean, I'm putting a flat type of camshaft in it. I'm going to put diesel oil in it. Nothing special. And I guarantee it'll be fine. Because... I'm going to check the push, push rod preload. I'm going to have the correct valve springs. If I have to change push rods to get the correct preload, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make sure each lifter turns freely in its bore. There won't be any problems. That's what it boils down to. I mean, yes, you... Once again, you couldn't pay me to take a comp cam's camshaft or lifters right now. I'll stand by that and stand by that. But there's a whole lot more problems other than just their camshaft and lifters causing cams to wipe out. Assembly error, general laziness and stupidity, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it is what it is. So... With that being said, I hope this helps some of you or gets you to at least think about it. Next time your buddy says, well, I'll put a cam in and it didn't last 15 minutes. Well, I ask him, did you check the push rods? Did you check the valve springs? Did you check the preload? And more than likely, it was like, no, 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 no. I was like, well, you got what you deserve then. So, with that being said, me and the pups, we really appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and stay tuned. We're fixing to put a 460 together. See you.